W. C. A. T. T. V. Good morning, Greater Latrobe from the WCA TTV studio. I'm Joe Kozich alongside Jamie Hof, and coming up today, the Key Club is sponsoring a pancake breakfast and the marketing class presented their inventions. All this and more in today's morning announcement. Club pictures for the yearbook will be taken on Wednesday, January 15th and Thursday, January 16th during lunch and learn in the auditorium. Please check out the flyers around the school and the display boards for specific times for each club. There will be practice today for the forensic team members in Dr. Baum's room B6 at the junior high. From after school until 4, any team member interested in qualifying for the PA High School Speech League State Tournament that will be held on March 12th through 14th should plan to attend practice today. The next event for the team will be a festival hosted by Lake Trobe on January 22nd. The math department is hosting their annual food drive for the La Trobe Salvation Army from now until January 17th. Non-perishables can be given to your math teacher until the 17th and are greatly appreciated, but please no glass containers. On January 18th, the Key Club will be hosting a pancake breakfast open to all to raise funds for the Australian wildfires. The pancake breakfast will be held in the CSC from 7 to 12 p.m. There will be an entry fee of $5. We encourage all students and faculty to come support, come with their families to support the cause. Now here's Annie Dudo with a three-day forecast. Thanks, Joe. Good morning, Wildcats. Time for your local weather report. Monday will have partly cloudy skies with a high of 51 and low of 35. Tuesday brings rain with a high of 55 and a low of 42. And Wednesday will give us more rain with a high of 57 and a low of 39. That's all for your weather report. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Annie. Seton Hill will be here on Wednesday, January 15th for Instant Decision and Free Application Day. Please sign up in the 11 12th office to schedule. The National College Fair is coming. You must pre register to attend. Please register at go to myncf.com. We will be back after this message. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The Challenge Program's annual student of the year competition is now open. The Challenge Program promotes academic advancement in categories such as STEM, academic excellence, academic improvement, attendance, and community service. To enter the contest, visit www.tcpink.org and fill out the entry form. The top three finalists win $1,000. For questions, visit Mrs. Jenner in the 1112 office. Last Thursday, the swim and dive team had their senior night against Collinsville. They all competed well. The dive team won and the boys swim team won with 95 points and the girls won with 93 points. Congratulations, cats. Anyone who made a gift last month using the library's laser machine should email a photo to Mrs. Mamerill in order to enter the contest to win a student store gift card. Today is the entry deadline. The top prize is a $10 gift card. Attention seniors and juniors, if you would like to be a 6th grade camp counselor, applications are available in the 11-12 office. Counselors are needed in the following areas, general group counselors, certified lifeguards, art, and fishing. If you're able to help with rifle and archery, the hunter safety course completion is required. The deadline to apply is Friday, February 14th. If you are interested, do not delay in completing and turning in your application. Available spots will fill fast. Now here's Preston Yingling with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latro? It's Monday, January 13th, and the main line's cooking up some buffalo chicken dip with a side of garden green beans. Over in the cultural corner, we've got two hard shell tacos with fiesta rice and more garden green beans. Finally, the soup of the day is chicken noodle. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you guys. Thanks, Preston. On Thursday, January 9th, Mrs. Vegas' AP Human Geography class had a guest speaker come in and talk about human trafficking. The students had the opportunity to learn what it was and what it was and where they can find it. They were also told how they could help stop it. On Thursday, the marketing team took a trip to Invention Land to present what they've been working on all year. Twisted Chicken took home first prize. Congrats. Here is the commercial product for their here's a commercial for their product. Are you tired of spilling those pesky sauces from dipping your nuggets? Let's try that again, but with twisted chicken. This means no more sauces falling onto your nice new clothes. We infuse the sauce with our patented method, never done before. Barbecue, buffalo, or honey mustard, 
Twisted Chicken, all available in major grocery stores near you. Visit TwistedChicken.com to look into our amazing company more. Attention juniors, an informational meeting concerning the Allied Health Internship Program scheduling option will be held Wednesday, January 29th during Part 1 of Lunch and Learn in the library classroom. The Allied Health Internship class is a course offering available to students at the senior level. This course is taught in co cooperation with Excella at Lake Job Area Hospital. Students will study medical terminology, infection control, first aid, CPR, confidentiality, legal issues in anatomy and physiology. Clinical experience involves radiology, pharmacy, physical therapy, emergency services, chiropractic, nursing, dentistry, surgery, social services, oncology, and cardiovascular services. Mrs. McCreary, class instructor, will address the group and answer questions. Available applications will be following the presentation. Students interested in attending the presentation should sign up in the 1112 office by Tuesday, January 28th. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Jamie Hove. And Joe Kaiser. Thanks for watching and have a great day.